بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں اٹ از لیکچر نمبر ٹو فار دا ٹاپک آف اسٹیٹسٹیکل انفرنس ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ ویری امپارٹنٹ بیسک کانسیپٹ آف دیٹ ٹاپک وی ڈسکسڈ وٹ از انفرنس اٹ از دا پروسیس آف ڈرائنگ کنکلوئنس اباؤٹ دا پاپولیشن پیرامیٹر اٹ کین بی پاپولیشن مین اٹ کین بی پاپولیشن ویرینس اٹ کین بی پاپولیشن پرپورشن ود دا ہیلپ آف دا انفارمیشن کنٹینڈ ان دا سیمپل دین آئی ٹولڈ یو دین وی ہیو ریوائز the concept of estimation and testing of hypothesis there are two types of inference one is estimation second is testing of hypothesis in testing of hypothesis population parameter is known we check it with the help of the sample information and in estimation we have unknown population parameter population parameter is unknown we estimate it with the help of the sample data then we discussed estimator and estimate estimator is the formula it is a function of the random variable that is random variable for example if i say x bar is equal to summation x over n it is the formula which produces which gives us estimate the value which we calculate from the sample for the population parameter then we discussed interval estimate a range of the values which are used to tell us the estimate of the population parameter and point estimate is the single value which we calculate from the sample for the population parameter then we discussed four important criteria for the good point estimator number one is unbiasedness second is consistency then efficiency then sufficiency we discussed we elaborated unbiasedness consistency and efficiency when we take the expectation of the estimator the sample statistic and that is equal to the population parameter it is unbiasedness if we say expectation of x bar is equal to population mean mu that is unbiasedness x bar is the unbiased estimator of mu p cap is the unbiased estimator of p because expectation of p cap is equal to p and in cons consistency the sample statistic becomes closer and closer to the population parameter when we increase the sample size the variation the variance becomes zero then we say that it is consistent estimator today i will discuss very important multiple choice questions which are compulsory which are essential for every written test of statistics before starting all these mcqs I request everyone subscribe to my channel like and share my channel and click the bell icon for the notifications of the next important videos let's start number 1 is an unbiased estimator may or may not be consistent a very important concept if we have an unbiased estimator unbiased means if expectation of x bar is equal to mu expectation of p cap is equal to p if we have any estimator let's suppose it is theta 1 if it is unbiased it is not necessary that must be consistent it can be consistent or not so what did you learn an unbiased estimator may or may not be consistent a very important concept number 2 if t is unbiased and consistent estimator of theta then for estimation of theta under root theta is an estimator its expectation is equal to t is an unbiased expectation of t is equal to theta and if we take the variance of t when n approaches to infinity that becomes zero t is the unbiased estimator of theta t is the consistent estimator of theta then the question is then for estimation of theta under root for estimation of theta under root t under root is biased and consistent if we take if t is unbiased estimator of theta if t is consistent estimator of theta then under root t will be will be what of under root theta that will be biased and consistent estimator of under root theta a very important question next is for the exponential distribution we know that it has only one parameter it is lambda the exponential distribution is 
वन ओवर थीटा ई रेस पर माइनस एक्स ओवर थीटा वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो थीटा इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो द एस्टिमेटर स्पेशल एक्स ओवर एन बेस्ड ऑन सैम्पल ऑफ साइज एन इज एन अनबाइज एस्टिमेटर ऑफ थीटा इट इज अनबाइज नॉट वन ओवर थ्री नॉट नॉट वन ओवर थीटा नॉट थीटा स्क्वेयर और वन ओवर थीटा स्क्वेयर एक्चुअली समेशन एक्स ओवर एन इज द अनबाइज एस्टिमेटर ऑफ वट दिस इज द मीन एक्चुअली ऑफ थीटा अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट यू विल नॉट राइट वन ओवर थीटा इन द एग्जाम थीटा स्क्वेयर विल नॉट बी द आंसर वन ओवर थीटा स्क्वेयर विल नॉट बी द आंसर इफ वी हैव एन एक्सपोनशियल प्रोबिलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन वन ओवर थीटा ई रिस वन माइनस एक्स ओवर थीटा एंड दिस इज द पैरामीटर दिस इज लेमडा इट इज मीन देन एसमेशन एक्स ओवर एन विल बी द अनबाइज एस्टिमेटर ऑफ दैट मीन दैट थीटा विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर इन द एग्जाम नेक्स्ट इज राव ब्लैकवेल थ्यूरम गिवस अ प्रोसीजर for determining the dash estimator mvu minimum variance unbiased estimator this is the correct answer rao blackwell theorem gives you the procedure for determining the minimum variance unbiased estimator and estimator which is unbiased and has minimum variance that is given by the rao blackwell theorem a very important one then number 5th the lemon shefe theorem is useful when an estimator is complete sufficient statistic when it produces when it gives you it contains all the information of the data the lemon shefe theorem is useful when an estimator is complete sufficient statistic that this is the correct answer next is rao blackwell theorem mean conditioning on a sufficient statistic to reduce variance we want to reduce the variance that is the concept of rao blackwell theorem next is any statistical test is said to be unbiased for that if for that test power must be power of that test must be greater than size that is the condition for unbiasedness what did you learn any statistical test is said to be unbiased if for that test power is greater than its size next is neiman pearson lemma provides a most powerful test neiman lemma provide always provides most powerful test number 9 factorization theorem for sufficiency is known as fisher neiman theorem next kramer row inequality with regard to the variance of an estimator provides lower bound on the variance if we say that an unbiased estimator is efficient it has minimum variance then what is the criteria what is the last lowest boundary of that variance that is given by kramer row inequality next is if the regularity conditions of the kramer row inequality are violated then the least attainable variance will be less than the critical bound cr bound the less than the kramer row bound next is kramer row inequality is valid in case of a very important concept discrete as well as continuous variables it is applicable for both discrete whenever we have the specific values 1 2 3 4 5 6 and whenever we have the range of the values it is applicable for both next is the denominator in kramer row inequality is known as fisher information next is if the variance of an estimator attains the kramer row lower bound then the estimator is most efficient next if in if tn if tn is an unbiased estimator of theta the cr inequality kramer row inequality gives a lower bound for variance of tn as we have discussed kramer row inequality will tell you what will be the last least minimum value of actual tn the variance of tn it is concerned with kramer row inequality next is number 16 the estimator summation xi over n summation xi over n of population mean is it is we know it is unbiased as we have discussed earlier expectation of x bar is equal to mu and variance of x bar is equal to 0 when n approaches infinity it means summation x i over n is unbiased and consistent estimator of the population mean the criteria next 17 the criteria for sufficiency was suggested by fisher 18 pitman koopman form of probability distribution is used to determine the dash estimator of the parameter sufficient estimator last question of today's lecture least square 
where estimators of the parameters of a linear model are not asymptotically, asymptotically normal. Dear students, I request everyone, please comment on today's lecture and tell me the topic which, we, we, which you want to discuss actually. Assalamu alaikum.